Okay, guys, let's continue on with Fallout 3. We're outside of Underworld. Let's go talk to Mr. Crowley. Mr. Crowley, what have you done? I don't know the rest of the Ozzy Osbourne song lyrics, but that's fine. All right, go in here. And yes, guys, I'm still sick and trying to make videos. Hey there. Even though it can be difficult when you feel like shit, but yet you still want to record. What are all these people saying? Don't mess with them. Think you're so pretty. Here we go. That sound just won't stop. Do you hear Mr. That? Crowley. Yeah, that's really weird. Oh, well, it's gone now. Wake up. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Oh, what the hell did you wake me up for, smooth skin? What are you staring at? You'd think you'd never seen a ghoul up close before. No, I haven't say. Does it hurt? No, it tickles. Everyone's got to be a comedian. Say, for someone who hasn't seen many ghouls before, you don't seem too bothered. I could use someone like you. How would you feel about working for a ghoul? Sure. But here's the thing, Crowley. Maybe I don't know if I trust you. The feeling's mutual, smooth skin. But that never stopped a business deal. A lot of you humans are bigots. You don't like ghouls and treat us like zombies, calling us brain eaters and shufflers. Well, they're gonna pay. Uh, before I get into the details, you don't have anything against killing, do you? Well, no. Oh yeah, this is a good one. The day isn't complete until I've killed something. <laughs> Well, aren't you the bloodthirsty type? I got this list of people. Ghoul bigots. Real scum. I've only got four guys left on the list. Started out with eleven. All of them hate ghouls and treat us like we're zombies. They all deserve to die. But it has to be done with a headshot. Just like the old stories, where zombies can only be killed that way. I'll pay you a hundred caps for each one. Twenty-five if they die some other way. Sure, people like that don't deserve to live. Excellent. Take this sniper rifle. You'll need it. Here's a list of the guys and their last known locations. Word will get around if Tenpenny's killed, but I'll need proof for the others. Bring me back something personal from each of them as proof. Like a key, a ring or something. Okay. You gotta shoot him in the head. What do you have against these guys? They're ghoul haters. I want them all dead. Don't you think that's enough? Maybe, or maybe there's more to your story, Crowley. See you later. Bye. Ooh, you smell that. All right, let's get the hell out of here. And let's go to uh, these so called targets. I highly doubt that they're all ghoul haters, but we'll 
have a little chat with them about so-called ghoul hating. Alright, so let's get out of here first. Alright then. So we've talked to Crowley. He wants us to go take out four people. Claims that they're all ghoul haters. We'll, we'll see if they are or aren't. All right, look at the objectives. Kill Dave, kill Ted Strayer, kill Dukov, kill Alistair Tenpenny. Well, let's go with Dukov. Let's go deal with Dukov. Where was Dukov? Over here. We haven't been to Dukov's place yet, but we're gonna check it out right now. And at the same time, we'll go get his, uh, his little proof to uh, prove the Crowley that uh, nudge nudge wink wink that Dukov is dead. I don't know. We'll see how this turns out. What the hell is that noise? What the hell is Enclave soldier doing here? I think that guy needs some grenades. Or better yet. Give him a dart. Ooh, plasma rifle. That's what he gets. Alright, put the gun away. Let's go inside Dukov's place. What are we gonna find in here? Oh, uh, wow. What a place. This is a bachelor pad. This place is nice. It's almost like a sex dungeon. <laughs> All right then. I think I've had what do we got here? To drink, Dookie. <gasps> About oh, making it just sick. you and I tonight. Nonsense, you haven't had enough to drink. <laughs> Fantasia, you Anything know here? Uh oh. I think somebody's coming. Well, let's go see what these guys have. Dookie, you I promised to take cool. me to Rivet City to go shopping. Maybe next week, babe. We've got enough liquor to last. Where the fuck is she running to? <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, aren't you uh -oh. looking fine? How about making it just you and I tonight? Let Cherry sleep by herself. Did I just knock something over? 
Too much man for just one woman, huh? I need both of my I probably did. <laughs> Alright, Dukov, where the fuck are you going? Hello, Come here. sugar. What you doing, honey? Who the hell are you? Never mind. You need a drink. Jerry, I'm thirsty over here. Who are these girls? And where are their clothes? Hee hee. Ha <laughs> ha! They're my party girls! I'm too much man for just one woman, so I need two! <laughs> I wear them out every night. Why should they bother getting dressed when I'm just going to take it off? <laughs> good point, dude. Very good point. What are you doing way out here by yourself? Eating, drinking, farting, and screwing! <laughs> Out here, nobody bothers me. I can do whatever I like to whoever I want. Well, that's a good point. Here we go. Someone said you might know a Mr. Crowley. Care to comment? He's fucking dead, that's what I can tell you. Feral ghouls ripped his nuts off and ate them for dinner. Well, that's one way to die. Feral ghouls ripping the balls off, huh? Ouch. That's gotta make every man cringe. Where did he die? Uh, a little shithole called Fort Constantine. It fucked us up, but good. Actually, Crowley is alive. I'm supposed to kill you and bring him proof. So, the meat bag is alive, huh? And I bet I know what he wants. But I don't know what you want. What's your angle, clown shoes? I'm not sure, but don't call me Clown Shoes. Here's 200 caps. Give me something to prove I killed you. Now that's what I'm talking about. You don't even know what's going on, do you, Clown Shoes? <laughs> you just bought yourself a motherfucking key. Now take it and get the hell out of here. I better go before I get a headache. You need to drink more. <laughs> you got your goddamn key. Isn't that enough? I'd better leave. Don't let the door hit you in the ass, clown shoes. <laughs> Maybe next week, babe. All We've right, got let enough me look around. To last for a while. That's the only thing that's important. <laughs> oh my! Aren't you a stud? I'm Fantasia. If you need something, just let me know. Wow. She's one of those low talkers. <laughs> What a name, Fantasia. Does he pay you for this? Be 
gives me some caps, but it's not what you think. He can be a nice guy. And when the lights go out, he's real fun. Oh, I bet he is. All right, well. Before we leave this place, let's look around a little bit. I think I just knocked over some of uh, Dukov's shit. Ooh, look at all this stuff. I'm not going to take it. Because I think the guy's going to get pissed. I do want to look in there. Don't think I can get in there. Okay, clown shoes. I hope that key was worth it. Oh, I'm sure it was. What is up here? Oh, this is nice. Ooh, vending machine. You know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna take this. Yeah, I'm gonna take his new Coca-Cola. Alright then. Oh fuck, hey, he's let's right get there. wasted! I mean really stinking drunk! <laughs> All right, I think it's time to leave. But I want to look in here first. Well, this is an interesting room. So is this. Okay, then. And this goes back here. Yep. Alright, hop down here. Oh, hello, Cherry. Hi, sweetie. I'm Cherry. What can I do for you? Oh, I bet you taste like cherry. Why aren't you dressed? Dukov likes to keep it hot. Ain't no need for nothing else. So what's the deal with Dukov? He's a lecherous old man. The only reason I put up with him and his needs is because I'm safe here. He tends to shoot first and ask questions later. Don't pull out a weapon near him. He's likely to shoot you. And he's really good. Damn, I wish I had a setup like this. You're a pig. You know that? I'm only doing this because he can keep me safe. He's a lot tougher than he looks. I'm not sure how much longer that will be enough, though. Wow, she called me a pig. Isn't she very charming? Speech, 100%. If he's that bad, come with me. I'll protect you. Only if you take me to Rivet City. And don't think I'm gonna give you the same privileges I get Dukov. You and I are sleeping separate. You wanna go to Rivet City? Fine. 
Rivet City it is. Let me pack my bags. Oh, wait. I don't have any. Let's get out of here. Um... All right, then. Come on. <laughs> if I can figure out where the hell the front door is. Here it is. No, that was the front door. No, it wasn't. This is the back door. Whatever. Alright, let's go to Rift City. While we're there, we can go meet uh, Ted Strayer and handle business with him. Yeah, I don't think Dukov. I don't think Dukov is a uh, ghoul hater. I think Crowley's lying. But we will deal with Crowley in due time. Alright, lady. We're here at Rivet City. We got Dukov's key and took one of his girls. All right, let's go in here. Let's see if we can find Ted Strayer. Is he on this midship or midship or top deck? I don't know. Kind of forget where the guy is. Well, there goes Cherry. All right, Strayer's not in there. Yes. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, yeah, you're my hero. Don't let it... Yeah, yeah, you're my hero. Don't All let right. it go to your head. Seriously, right, though. Thank you for getting me away from Dugov. Well, she thanked me. Alright, I think Strayer's in here. There Stay you chill, are. Dude. Ted Strayer, you can chill with me if you want, dude. Sounds like a plan, man. All right, you and me just hanging. Do you know a Mr. Crowley? Whoa, that's a blast from the past. My dad knew a dude named Crowley. I never met him, though. I think Dad said he died when they were checking out some old fort. Do you know what they were doing at the fort? Nah. He said that old man Tenpenny hired him and some other guys to go in there, but he never said why. My dad made enough caps off it to set him up good, though. Ooh. What do you know about Tenpenny? Everybody knows he runs Tenpenny Tower, but I never met the dude. I swear. I 
I've learned what I've come for. Can you think of any reason he might want you dead? No shit. That dude wants me dead? If you give me something personal of yours as proof, I'll lie to Crowley. Whoa, is this like worth caps? Cause I got needs, man. Here we go. Speech, 100%. Give me that key. I'd hate to see you bleed to death. Uh, sure, dude. I don't know what it's for anyway. Don't need to get all thug-like. All right. Thanks, Strayer. All right, well, we killed two birds, two birds with one stone by coming to Rivet City. All right, let's get out of here. And then we need to head up to a place that I don't think we've discovered yet. All the way up there to the Republic of Dave. So we're going to have to go from MDPL 16. So yeah, it's been a while since uh, doing a, an actual quest. There's been a lot of uh, exploring stuff going on. But it is nice to have a quest again. Alright game. So we need to go that way. Up and around. All right, then. Here we go. We're going to the very top of the map. Great, Death Claw. Yeah, I'm not playing around with these things today. Or 
any other day. I think he wants to come. Yep. Just dropping in, Deathclaw. Death did not fucking kill him. This is bad. Will you stop jumping at me, dickhead? Good, he's hoveling. Now let's try... Let's try this again. That's better. Problem is, I'm out of mini nukes. Oh shit, I'm going the wrong way now. Alright, good. I'm facing the right direction now. That death claw threw me off track. Right on the edge of the Republic of Dave. In fact, I think this is it right here. Yeah. Republic of Dave. Republic of Dave is on the map. Stop right there, mister. What you think you're doing in the Republic of Day? I'm not here to hurt anyone. What is this place? This is the Republic of Dave. Duh. It's named for President Daddy. But you have to talk to him if you want to stay here. I think I'd like to meet Dave. Okay, I'll take you. But President Daddy doesn't always like new people. Okay, come with me. Come on, close the gate. Well, instead of following the girl, let's look around here. We got a Brahmin pen. This is a really nice fenced in area. It seems like. Ooh. Yeah. This is pretty fenced in, all right. So what is inside these shacks? What's in here? Doesn't look like I can go in here. Men's quarters, huh? What's in the men's quarters?
Well, there's a tricycle. Alright, a bunch of uh, baseball bats. And some other stuff here. There's not a whole lot in here. There's a foot locker. I don't need that. Squirrel stew, don't need it. Alright, so there's really nothing in here. Yeah, I don't question why I was in the men's quarters. Alright, so I'm supposed to go into that big building over there. I want to go in... Over here. The Museum of Dave. knocked some guns on the floor, didn't I? Chinese officer's sword. Ooh, I don't want to pick that up. I'm going to leave it there. See, uh... What is that? A Chinese pistol? Head. Oh my god, that is the perception bobblehead. Wow. You have found a Vault Tech limited edition bobblehead. The inscription on the base reads, Only through observation will you perceive weakness. Your perception has been permanently increased by one. Well, that's a good find. What's in the suitcase? Nothing? Alright, this looked like a schoolhouse. I don't know if there's anybody in here. No? Right there looked like a bobblehead. Now, what fell on the floor? Chinese assault rifle. Well, give me that. Alright, quickly fix mine before these guys notice. Alright, let's go see about this uh, key that supposedly Dave has.
Alright, let's go in here. The Republic of Dave Capitol Building. Wow, this guy sounds like he's a president. What a, a building. Wastelander, like in the stories about Dave. Yeah, sure. Man, Who are you? The Brahmins smell awful today. Dave doesn't like us talking to strangers. Okay. What about you? Hi there. Dave doesn't like us talking to strangers. Okay, so where the hell is Dave? Oh. Well, let me look around the house a little bit. Man, the Brahmin smell awful today. Yeah, I'm sure the Brahmin smell like shit every day. Ooh. Is that a footlocker under there? Nope. Yeah, that's a nice bed. Even though it's got a shitty mattress. Ooh, what's in here? Oh, clothing I don't need. I don't need any of this stuff here. down here anything no hey Jessica all right then you excited well. about the election mm, yeah hey all right well let's go see this guy Man, Who are the you? Brahmin smell awful today. Dave doesn't like us talking to strangers. We have someone new in my hey, republic. Hey, come here. Dave doesn't like us talking to strangers. Why don't you look right, where you're David. going? I am Dave, president of the Republic of Dave. You will address me as Mr. President, or I will have you executed. Now, are you applying for a citizenship, asylum, or just vacationing in the Republic of Dave? Wow, dude. I have to call you Mr. President, or you're gonna e e e execute me? Really? Dude, I could put a bullet in your head right now. And there wouldn't be a damn thing you could do about it. Oh yeah, this is a good one. Speech, 100%. I am an ambassador from the Wasteland. You are? Excellent. It's good to see that the Wasteland has finally recognized the Sovereign Republic of Dave. If the people of the Wasteland are generous and respectful, I might deign to annex them. Anything happening in this place, Mr. President? There's an election for the next president. Don't look so surprised. Can't you see this is a republic?
I'd say it looks more like a dictatorship. <laughs> dictatorship? You insult me. Obviously, the wasteland radiation has taken away your capacity to reason. Here we go. Mr. President, do you know a ghoul named Mr. Crowley? There's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Before the people elected me president, I worked with a mercenary named Mr. Crowley. We were part of an expedition to Fort Constantine. Speech 100%. What happened in the fort, Mr. President? Two of us died, including Crowley. The rest achieved the mission goals and were paid. Speech 100%. Crowley is alive, Mr. President. I'm supposed to bring back proof of your death. Alive? I always wondered. He was locked in with a bunch of feral ghouls. They won't attack ghouls, you see. Would you consider taking him a personal item, like this key, and just telling him you killed me? Speech 100%. Mr. President, what's so special about this key? You need all the keys to get through Fort Constantine. With only one key, there's no point in my going back. Speech 100%. A gift of the key would be a strategic diplomatic move, Mr. President. Hmm. Of course it would. I knew that. I was just testing you to see if you would realize it. Here, take the key. It is a gift from the Republic of Dave to the Wasteland. Well, I've got his key now. Good. I just need one more. Have to go now. Oh, hello. I could use key, huh? Did he leave? Ah, nope, he's it's still the keeper there. Keeper of the key. You know what? Make sure the light's off. I'm about to do something here. Alright, give me the stealth boy. First of all, give me that quantum. Let's raid his safe. Give me those caps. All painless, huh? And I can leave that steam gauge assembly. Alright then, well. Yeah. The Brahmin smelled awful today. I think we're going to end it here right now, guys. Be sure to 
like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel V Rock Games. I also do live broadcasting on an app called Live.me. Screen name V Rock 720. You can also follow me on social media, Twitter, V Rock 720, Instagram, V Rock 720. Social media links are in each video description. Peace out, and I will see you guys in the next video.